big wide main road throughout the week. Right. Well, not a lot of traffic, but still. And I'm sat up top with my headphones on, and you sat down below. Yeah. And I, I, I haven't a bloody clue what you're doing, <laughs> but I'm listening. I'm, yeah. listening. I'm listening to engine and things like that. And I have to sit, say, do this, do that, and then ready, six more gas, and we had a, um, I think we had a clock in top to see how many reds you have on. Right. And as soon as you got the certain reds, you just release your clutch and off, off it went. Yeah. Well, I think what most of the reds that have never driven one before, as soon as it started moving, uh -huh. they panic, you say, and yeah. grab all the anything, because you're just sat in that little bucket seat. Not much room in it, I know, there's no room at all. Yeah, and you can't do it if you're claustrophobic. Some of them pictures I have over there. Well, that's it's another thing. Did the driver have his head poked out with that right chalk time to drive it? Or is, is there a periscope? No, periscope. Is there a periscope thing in the top? Well, I guess there's much, but I didn't know. I really yeah. don't know much about them at all. It was frustrating, really, when I were in it. You know, when you're yeah. in something like that, you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> I wish you'd have been there, you'd have, you'd have to point out everything no, around I, it. I've been in there. could have got in it. Well, this is it, ah. <laughs> well, I the grand job, I used to get. I really would, no. <laughs> you'd have loved it, though, I bet. Oh, it's yeah. nostalgia. Well, it was it. funny, wasn't we down at Bobbington? To, to, uh, you could go on a drive, yeah. uh, a circuit, and it was 160 to it. Oh. I fancied doing that until you said that. <laughs> now, we got a, quite a bit of, of uh, instruction beforehand. Yeah. And I thought, why well, take that these to pay me to drive these all day, you know? <laughs> yeah. They should, they should let veterans have a go for the role, shouldn't they, yeah. really? It's a bit cheeky, that. But, uh, it's business, yeah, isn't it? It was so oh. funny. When we got down there, the, one of the original comets, it's a comet with a lot of pedigree. Right. It's been abroad and been all over the place. And I think it's the only one they've got now running. And it's down right. at the museum, you see. Right. Well, of course, we use that for, for uh, instruction, you know. And, and would that have been actually made in Leyland, the one that they've got? Oh, yeah. Definite. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to have to see that then. Yeah. I have some pictures of it in the car. And what do you think about this this fella here? Do you think that was definitely made in Leyland? Because I know they, they made them in Leeds as well. Well, I was going to say, it depends when they made it. It's yeah. Because nice they've been thing. struggling. Because it, you know, the the number plate has been took off. We don't really know enough about mm. it. Mm. There's been modifications at different times. And, and where does it come from now? From uh, what do you mean? Uh, has it been lying in North of England? Did you say? Well, Martin Ace has owned it for some time now. But, uh, apparently, it's it's been up at RAF Millen Museum. Yeah. In yeah. Millen on yeah. display up there, but they yeah. shut that museum yeah. down now. Yeah. You see. So they brought it back. Uh, before that, he was on some gun <laughs> range up in Scotland. Well, there's a gun range up there in, in uh, the other side of the. Uh, of so, Somebody told me that. Uh, the meal in scale, is it? We used to go to school. Esk Meals is up that way. Yeah. And there's, there's uh, about six concrete pads, and there'd be six tanks. Yeah. And then they took two badges out, uh, right out to see them, they blow them up. They, they still do, it's still there that they place, do, you know. Yeah. I've been up there, a, I've, I've got a connection with Millen, because a friend yeah, of mine yeah, lives there. Yeah, yeah. And we do a bit of fishing. Right. And they got right. permission to go on that range and fish the, the, the beach yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And I was finding all sorts of weird cartridges yeah, in the, 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 you know, like tide went yeah. out and that. So that is still there. Yeah. But that one has been in some, some place up in Scotland, another gunnery range up in Scotland. When they, when they bought it, and they said, somebody said it, because it weren't running, they were going to use it for target practice. I did, that's what it was. And it got bought because of that, you know, somebody said, nah, I'm going to have a look. 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 You're not going to have a look out banks of here on these fields, would you? No, no. That's how they've. All them fields that are now Centurion Way and all them fields. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The fields were full of it. Not well, I, I know about that. Yeah. Before my time, but I knew about As it. As kids, that was our playground. Ah. And Leland, Leland uh, Station Yard. Have you ever seen that? A wartime picture of Leland Station Yard? What? Well, train station? 
stairs. I'll have to bring that blue for dress, mate. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Um, we used to, used to go on there. I lived in Northgate. Right. Now, Northgate was the only way in and out to Lowland Motors. People like living on a bloody. Well, it was just like being in a battle zone. <laughs> Every few minutes, one of these, well, not big, but smaller ones that they were building, then up and down, up and down. <laughs> and I can remember one Saturday morning, across the road from us, there was a family called Dunn, D U D N, Eddie Dunn, and Ronnie Dunn, and big family. Okay. And we lived back again. And one of those was getting married. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm talking wartime, so trying to get a car. There was a bloke, a local bloke, I think his name was Taylor, he used to do all weddings with Cleewar Austin Cat, uh -huh. and it's packed to packed like bloody house, and this tank's coming, and everybody's shouting, <laughs> and, and it went past, and then it gone, do no bloody side, let's don't care, it's a good one. Somebody will listen to the technical show. Yeah, probably wouldn't have even noticed it. Somebody's waving, eh? Oh, they're waving at each other. Oh, I don't know if you've been in Morrison's shop, Morrison's. I have, but not for a long time. Right, well, in there, there's a few photographs of our motors and oh, that, and there's yeah, one that yeah. shows Northgate with a tank coming out of it, and it's a little photo with fellas facing yeah. in Porto. Yeah. And I was in there one day, and this, I seen this old chap looking at photographs, and his wife were walking off. She said, well, you know, he said, I'm looking at his foot. He said, I was driving that tank. He said, it's my bloody first to you. Yeah. Have you ever been there? Have a look at that. Yeah. This lad from Farrington, I, I can't understand I've never seen him. Mind you, he might have died. Uh, his name was John Crow. John and he Crow. was the biggest bloody comedian he could ever work with. He was a great <laughs> boy. He, he yeah. never saw the serious side of anything. Uh. Well, outside the market there, well, they've, they've got a board, haven't they? Have you seen that little stand? They're all photographs I went to her, I went to her, and, and uh, she took the name and address and gave me a phone. Yeah. She threw that phone in and let me have it back, and it's her husband that does it, isn't it? I don't it's know. I've, I've read things, but I didn't know we were running it, you know. And, uh, it's interesting, though. I, I never took it back, I think it's a hospital exactly. Yeah. Well, I should get your story up there. Yeah. But there's a good. All, all the models I have have uh, have every battle tank that's modelled that's yeah. been built since the war. Yeah. Russian, Czechoslovakian, American, and old British as well. And have them all on a big display kind of Brilliant. Yeah, it's just a summit to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, impressive bloody machines. I'm gonna have to shoot off now anyway. You're